right, so just give me a few minutes and I would, um, I would share my screen with the book, with the textbook. Give me that one. All right, in the meantime, for those of you who were not here last week, we would just recap to recap our lesson from last week, which is Delsofani, right? So for those of you, just to refresh, I know some of you may not have been in the class when we restarted in July. We restarted and we ran the class for a few weeks in July. And then, we, of course, we had to close back again. Um, so we had started lesson number two in our book two, all right? Um, I think everyone has a copy of this book, which is the book we were doing in class. So we are on page 12, page 12, Safa Nashar. Let's see it here. Page 12. Right. There we go. All right. Page 12. Inshallah, once his once his laptop comes up, we would um. I will share the screen and we will go through it together on the screen. But in the meantime, I will read and inshallah, if you can follow in your books, and then we will ask, you know, volunteers to, to read as well. Okay? Or at least before we ask for volunteers, we would ask you to read after me, inshallah, ta'ala. Right? So this, Adar Sufani, Dalsuthani is a conversation as many of the exercises or if not all the lessons were conversations. So Adalsuthani is a conversation between Kisham and Bilal. Okay. And we said last week that this is a setting in a workplace, the workplace setting. However, it's not much words by way of um, vocabulary, by way of the work environment. It's more to do with family and so on, right? This also introduces a new structure or a new tool in the structure of the Arabic sentence. All right, that new tool is the word Lysa. Lysa, and we saw how it changes with the different um, genders, numbers, and so on, all right? And so this lesson gives us practice in, in how that is applied. Now, Lysa, what it does is, is that it negates the sentence that comes after it. So it normally is applied to a nominal sentence. That is a sentence that begins with a noun. So if it is applied to that nominal sentence, it negates that nominal sentence, that statement that is made, right? Now, if you recall, some time ago, we did another um, verb, which we can add on to um, to a nominal sentence, and it emphasizes that sentence. And that is, um, sorry, not, not verb, um, particle, which emphasizes that sentence, and that is inna. So we have something called inna wa akhawatuha, and we have something called kana wa akhawatuha. All right? So we did kana, we did inna more recently, and now we are doing lysa. Lysa is one of the sisters of kana. Okay? Now, if you recall, a nominal sentence has two main parts to it, two main parts. Right? One is the mubtada, and two is the khabba. Mubtada being the subject of the sentence and the khabar being the the um the predicates or literally khabar means news or information about that subject all right so these are the two parts of the nominal sentence so when we have a nominal sentence telling us something about that subject when we introduce lysa into that sentence it negates that statement that is being made so we're going to see in the lesson here how that is Apply it, all right? So I'll read it through. Please follow in your book. And then we will um, then we will take it further after that. If anybody doesn't have 
if anybody doesn't have the book with them or in front of them, just just let me know. Inshallah. You can unmute your mic and just let me know. Or you could just send a text in the in the chat. Alright. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Adaru Suthani, the second lesson. Hishamun, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bilal, wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Kaifa haluka ya aki? Manil akh, manil akh. Hishamun, ana muhandisun jadidun. Ana muhandisun jadidun. Ismi Hishamun. Ismi Hishamun. Ana min ana ana min al wilayati al mutahidat. Ana min wilaya min al wilayati al mutahidati. Bilalun. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. بك يا أخي أنا مسرور بلقائك أنا زميلك اسمي بلال بن حامد بلال بن حامد أمن واشنطن أنت يا هشام هشام لا أنا لست لا أنا لست من واشنطن إني من New York. Inni min New York. Bilalun. A Muslimun Abuka, ya Hisham. A Muslimun. A Muslimu Abuka, ya Hishamu. Hishamu. La. Kuwa las laisa bi muslimin. Kuwa laisa bi muslimin. Bilalun. Wa ummuka a muslimatun hiya. Wa ummuka a muslimatun hiya. Hishamun la. Hiya laisat bi muslimatin. Hiya laisat bi muslimatin. Bilal, alaka abna'u ya Hisham, alaka abna'u ya Hisham, Hisham, naam, li sittatu abna'in, li sittatu abna'in. Next page. Bilal, atullabun hum, atullabun hum, hishamun, la, hum, laisu bitulabin, hum, laisu bitulabin. Inna ba'dahum tujjarun, wa ba'dahum muhandisuna. Bilal, alaka banatun, alaka banatun, hishamun, na'am. Li khamsu banatin. Li khamsu banatin. Bilal. Amutazawijatun hunna. Amutazawijatun hunna. Hishamun. La. Hunna. Laysta bimutazawijat. Inna hunna sigarun. Ba'da hunna. Fil madrasa tilibtadaiyati. وَبَعْضَهُنَّ فِي الْمَدْرَسَةِ الْمَتَوَسِّطَةِ دِلَالٌ أَلَكَ إِخْوَةٌ أَلَكَ إِخْوَةٌ إِشَامٌ لَا لَيْسَ لِي إِخْوَةٌ لَيْسَ لِي إِخْوَةٌ إِنَّ لِي ثَلَاثَ أَخَوَاتٍ إِنَّ لِي ثَلَاثَ أَخَوَاتٍ دِلَالٌ a muslimatun hunna, a muslimatun hunna, hishamun, naam, hunna muslimatun, walhamdulillah, naam, hunna muslimatun, walhamdulillah. All right.
we went through this exercise last week. All right, and we looked at some of uh, how the application or how LISA and its various forms were applied or was applied to the different sentences, right? Okay, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just... I think because you have your laptop on your phone on at the same time you get in the interference in the sound. You can you can mute one. Okay, we're not hearing you now. Okay, are you hearing me now? Yeah, we're hearing you now. Okay. All right, so like I was saying last, last class, I had gone through the application of the LISA and its various forms, all right? We're seeing you too now. Right. So first of all, we said, as I said before, LISA is, is applied to a nominal sentence, okay? And we will just go through the passage quickly again for those of you who were not here last week and look and see how it is applied in the different scenarios, right? So we're going through from middle of the first page, that is page, the first page of lesson two, page 12. From halfway down, we have the question by Bilal. A Muslimun Abuka, Ya Hisham, a Muslimun Abuka, Ya Hisham, meaning, is your father a Muslim, O Hisham? Is your father a Muslim? So as I said, there's a scenario in a workplace. So these are two colleagues and they are, um, Bilal is asking his new colleague, who is a new engineer, you know, about himself and his family and so on, all right? So what did Hisham reply? Hisham said, La Hua Laisa. La Hua Laisa be Muslim. So let's see how that is applied there. So if you were saying he is a Muslim, you would say Hua Muslimun. Hua Muslimun. This is a, a nominal sentence. Okay? Hua Muslimun. You have the Mubtada, which is Hua, and you have the Khabar which is Muslim. So we are saying he is a Muslim. All right. So in this case, we have the Lysa being applied. So is negating that statement. So we say, who are Lysa be Muslim? Who are Lysa be Muslim? Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. So at least you can follow on the, um, on the computer as well if you need to. Are you all seeing the screen? Share the window. Yeah, we can see the screen. 
Okay. You can make it full size. Yeah. Right. So. Right. So we are saying here, la huwa laisa bi muslimin. La huwa laisa bi muslimin. Okay. So let's see the changes here. First of all, laisa is being introduced into the sentence. And we see here in this case, it is introduced after the mubtada. So we have the mubtada, huwa muslimun is introduced after. So you have huwa, laisa. And not only is laisa added, but you have this pronoun, I'm um, sorry, this preposition, be, the ba, being added with the word laisa. Right? Now, many times, verbs go along with a preposition in order to give a certain meaning. And if you change that preposition, sometimes you change the meaning of the sentence, right? Like for example, the statement of the Prophet when he used to tell Bilal to call the Adhan, he would say to Bilal, Arihna bis sola. Now this example I'm giving here doesn't apply to, it's not related to Lysa, but it is an example of a preposition going with a particular verb. So the Prophet is narrated that he would tell Bilal, Arihna bis sola. Put us at ease with the salah. So the ba here means with. Okay. So when we allow to the Prophet Sallallahu say that, he would know automatically that the Prophet Sallallahu is commanding him to go and call the Adhan for the salah. So the Prophet again would say, Arihna bi with the ba, as salah. So you join it, you get bis salah. Arihna bis salah. However, if you change that and change the ba, the an, you know, an meaning about or on, right? It, it gives the opposite meaning, right? So if the Prophet or anyone was to say, Arihna an is salah or Arihna min is salah, it would be the opposite. It would be put us at ease from the salah, meaning relieve us from the salah, meaning implying that the salah is a burden. All right, so the simple change of the preposition changes the meaning there. So we see here the word lysa in this case goes along with the ipa when it is applied like this. All right, so Hisham Shamun said, La, he said, La hua lysa be Muslim. Let's go again. Bilal ask again, Wa ummuka and your mother. A Muslimatun here, is she a Muslim? Hisham, la, here, laisat, the Muslimatin. Here, laisat, the Muslimatin. Let's go to the next page. I'm just skipping through here, right? Because we would have done much of this last week, right? So I'm just recapping the important points here, right? Hishamun, so Bilal ask him again, atullabun hum, atullabun hum, meaning is Children, are they students? Or his sons, are they students? Hisham said, La hum laisu bitulabin. Hum laisu bitulabin. Look at how the word laisa changes. We still have the bar here coming after the preposition, but the word, the, the verb, it changes from laisa to laisu to laisu. Okay, this is the masculine plural. Person, form. All right. So we know again. Hisham, uh, um, Bilal asked him, does he have any daughters? Hisham said, yes, he has five daughters. Bilal asked, are they married? Hisham said, la, hunna, lasna, lasna, bi mutazawijat. No, they are not married. So we see the word laisa. Change the last na, last na. All right. So this is another um, change here. We will, as I said last week, we will go through the conjugation of the verb, inshallah, at a later on. All right. So we looked at a couple exercises last week. So again, we can just quickly 
recap before we go forward with the exercises. Um, before I go into this, are there any questions? You can just unmute your mic and pose a question or you can type it if you want. All right, so I'm just going through the list here. I'm seeing uh, my brother Nishon, Imam Farid, um, Sumaya Hussein, so Latif, Sheriff, Galaxy J5, I don't know who is that. Um, Rustam, but Rustam, Armin. Uh, Galaxy, Galaxy J5, I think, is Brother Jamil. Brother Jamil, okay. So. Yeah, and on my side, we have Salman Zainab. Right, okay. Yeah. Brother Jamil. So if you could put your name on the thing, so I would know who is who, right? So Brother Rustam, Brother Armin. Brother Adil Khan, Zakaria, um, who else do we have here? All right, suddenly lost. Brother Adil Khan is Brother Miki. Remember oh, yes, that's Miki? Adil, right, okay. Yeah, right. that is his father. Sure. So maybe it's Brother Miki who is on. Sure. Um, J2, J2, Galaxy J2 Core. I don't know who that, right. Anyway, so inshallah. In the future, we can put our names so we know who, at least for the session, if you don't want to put your name for all uh, permanently on Zoom, you can put your name on the thing so we know who it is, right? So, good. Any questions, just um, you can post it in the chat or you can um, ask if you wish. Right. Right. Nothing in the chat so far, right? So, good. So, let's go through. This, these exercises here. So we're on page 14, right? Albat Ashar. Ajib an al asilat al atiya. Answer the following questions. Min, um, Min Aina Hisham, where is he from? So he's from Amrika or Al Wilayatil Al Mutahidati, all right? Which is translated as the United. States, the United States. Min ayi Madinati Hua. Min ayi Madinati Hua. So he is from New York. Kam Uchtan Lahu. How many sisters does he have? I think at the end he says he has three or Thalatha Akhawat. Thalatha Akhawat. It's nine. The second question. Da Hadihil Alama. That is the correct sign. Amam al Jumal al Sahihati wa Hadih al Alama Amam al Jumal al Lati Laiset Sahih. So basically, you put a tick by the correct sentence and an X by the wrong sentence. So it's a true or false exercise here, right? So basically, to check our understanding of the passage. Wahid Hishamun in Washington. Hishamun bin Washington. Um, this is Laiset Sahih. Laiset Sahih because he is not from Washington, he is from New York. If nine, Akhwatuhu Muslimat. Akhwatuhu Muslimat. His sisters are Muslims. Naam, Sahih. His sisters are Muslim. This is the last sentence in the passage, right? Talatha. Banatuhu. Lesna bi mutazawijat. Banatuhu lesna bi mutazawijat. His daughters are not. Did you like Sane? Change the lesna. His daughters are not married. So this is a Sahih statement. This is a correct statement. Okay. Abanauhu tulabun. Abanauhu tulabun. Ghaira Sahih. Or Naiset Sahih. Because they are not to love, they are Ba'duhum Muhandisuna wa Ba'duhum Tujabun. Right, so some of them are merchants, some of them are engineers. Kamsa, Ummuhu Laisat bi Muslimatin. Ummuhu Laisat bi Muslimatin. His mother is not Muslim. So this is a Sahih statement. Abuhu Muslimun. His father is a Muslim. This is Laisat Sahih. This is not correct. 
right? Telefe. Number three, so this is not so much an exercise, but an observation. So let's see how the word Lysa is being applied again. So we have some more examples here of how Lysa is being applied. So we went through this last week. We're going to go through it quickly again, just for those of you, since you know many of you were not here last week. Those who were here last week, please bear a little bit of patience with, with, with us so that we can go through it again. Inshallah, it's for the benefit of all. It's not a problem. If we, uh, we go over it again, it will just serve to refresh our memory. All right? And inshallah, we benefit those who were not here last week. So, number three here, we have the, the instruction to amil mayali. Observe what follows. Observe what follows. Hamidun talibun. Hamidun talibun. Let's see how it changes here. So this is a statement. Simple nominal sentence. Hamidun talibun. So muqtada khabar. The subject of the sentence and the khabar, the information or the predicate. So we have the word laisa being applied here. We said the laisa can be applied after the muqtada like this. We will see later on how it can be applied before the muqtada as well. Right? So here we see it being applied after the, the muqtada. So we see in here, hamidun laisa. Bitolibin. Hamidun Lysa Bitolibin. Again, as I said before, the word Lysa, right? Lam Fata Ya with the scene Fatha Lysa. This is the third person masculine singular form. Third person masculine singular. So this is what we have here. Hamidun in this sentence is third person masculine and singular. So we use the form Lysa. Hamidun Laisa. Again, we say we have to apply the bar. So we have Hamidun Laisa Bitulabin. Hamidun Laisa Bitulabin. Right? Hamid is not a student. Right, next sentence. Atulabu Sigarun. Atulabu Sigarun. The students are small. Okay, so again, another simple. Nominal sentence starts with a muqtada and a khabar. Muqtada and khabar. Right? So, again, the word tullabun is plural of talibun. Talibun, tullabun. You have the alif lam, so we say at, at tullabu. At tullabu, sirarun. At tullabu, sirarun. The word sirar is plural of the word sarir. Sarir meaning small so plural of small or plural of sarir is sirarun so the students are small so this is a normal uh, a, a nominal sentence that is simple all right so we have here elisa being applied here so we have atolabu atolabu laisu bisirarin laisu bisirarin so let's observe what changes took place here. We have the Muqtada, just as we have it here, at Tullabu. Same thing, same thing. Good. After that, we are introducing Laisa, but we change it to match the Muqtada here. See how it's changed now? The Muqtada here is no longer masculine singular third person. It is now masculine plural third person. So we do know the plural. So now the Laisa has to change to plural. Masculine third person. So instead of Laisa, we have Laisu. All right, Laisu. What happens here? The scene takes the Dhamma, you get the, the, um, the wow added on, and the Aleph. The Aleph. All right. So we will see, and we would have done a few examples of this, you know, over the course of the last year or two of the conjugation of the verb, and you would have seen. For the past tense, masculine plural, third person, you would have this form where you have the wow, the, the dhamma, the wow, and this, this aleph added on here. All right? And then, of course, we have the ba being added, the preposition ba being added. And as usual, as usual, please observe, we have after, because of the ba being added, we have the raw now. Taken the kasra. In this case, it will be tanwin kasra. 
because we would have had tanwin dhamma over here in the original sentence. Okay, so tanwin dhamma change the tanwin kasra because of the effect of the ba. Powerful jar. The powerful jar make this word into the case of jar or majrur. It is now majrur. Okay, so let's see. Atulabu la isu bisirarin. Atulabu la isu bisirarin. So we see in here how the word like it says being applied in different situations, right? Again, what effect is this? It put, it basically negates this sentence and um, um, uh, negates what would have been stated in the first sentence, all right? Number three, the third one, third example, amina tu tabibatun, amina tu tabibatun. Amina is a doctor, female doctor, right? Amina is a doctor. Let's see how it's applied here. Amina to Laisa. Amina to Laisa. Bitobi Batin. Amina to Laisa. Bitobi Batin. So again, here we have this is the third person feminine singular. Amina is third person feminine singular. So therefore, you would Laisa has to change to match that. So we get third person feminine singular of Lysa. It is Lysa. You join the ta at the end. Ta maftuha. All right. So amina tu Lysa. Again, we add the ba, and the ba has the effect of it making this genitive or in the state of jar. And because of that, it takes the kastra. So we get b or b batin. Amina to lay set be to be batin. Okay, good. So these are the three first examples here. I'm going to go through some of the other examples and I'll ask, first of all, any volunteers to try the fourth example here. Al Fatayatu, something, something, something. Any exam, any volunteers? Bring once, twice. Three times, all right. So we will go with Abdul Basit. Read um, this example here. Oh, please, you all will not hear Abdul Basit. I will hear him here. Go ahead. Alfatayatu Mutazawijatun. Alfatayatu Lasna Bi Mutazawijatun. Right. Alfatayatu Mutazawijatun. Alfatayatu Lasna Bi Mutazawijatun. So we apply the Laisa, but in the third person feminine plural form, you get less na, less na. Hmm. Notice here how the ya is dropped out of the word Laisa. So we have Laisa here, you have Laisu here, you have less uh, Laisa here, but now we have less na. Suddenly the ya drops out. You go through, as I said, you go through this conjugation of verbs with Greek letters. Um, we turn inshallah. So less net emotes of Vijayate, right? Good. Next person, uh, Nora. Next one. Right. So anta kabirun, anta lasta bi kabirin. So we see in here, now this word here, anta, is in brackets, meaning that this can be left out. I will not change the meaning of the sentence, right? In fact, including the anta, it just serves as a sort of emphasis to emphasize you, right? You can leave it out and you get the same meaning, but of course with probably a little bit less emphasis, right? So it is correct to say less ta bi kabirin. So you have the word and the sentence anta kabirun, you are big, and if you want to introduce laisa to that, you get. Lesta bikabirin. Lesta bikabirin. Notice here how if it is in fact we do opt to leave out the word in the brackets there, the anta or in the cases below, antum, anti, and so on, then what we actually have is the lysa coming to the beginning of the sentence. If it is we leave all those things in brackets. All right. So you would have the sentence, just two words. Lesta bikabirin. Lesta bikabirin. Right, which means you are not big. Good. Any other volunteers? 
one of one of this, it will be Ak Salma and Zainab. Zainab first. Next one. Antum Jududon. Antum Lastum be Jududon. Good. So Antum Jududon, you, masculine, plural. Second person, you are new. All right, so you have a group of students coming in school for the first time, you are new. Again, look at it here, how it changes. Antum, less tum. So you would notice going down here now, a lot of the changes to the word lysa with respect to these pronouns are very similar to the pronouns themselves. All right, so antum, less tum. Anta, less te. Anti, less te. Antunna, less tunna, and so on, right? So this basically means you, masculine plural, second person, are new, and then you have antunna, lastum, um, antum, lastum, be dududin. Again, the bar cause the, the dal to take the tanin castra at the end. Good. Next one, Salma. Anti fakiratun, anti lasti be fakiratun. Good. So anti fakiratun. You are poor, anti, lasty, bifaki Latin. You are not poor. You, feminine, second person, singular. All right? Good. What's going on, Ulysses? Who's next? Who's seen? All right. Shazim, Sheriff Aizul. I look at Sims, where Sheriff. All right, Asim Hussein, is that? Hussein clan, that would be Tumaya, Zakaria. So I'll go down, call on Zakaria first. Next one. Not there? Tumaya is there? Yahya. Okay, so no response from that end. Um, we just going on. Let's see who's next. For the Latif. Let's try the next one. Oh, sorry. You may, you may need to unmute your mic because it tells to my hands. Okay, I need to unmute the mic to read. Oh, okay, good. Let's let, let, get to them now. So we go back to Zakaria and Sumaya and Yahya. Who's going first? All right, so we have no problems on that side there. So in the meantime, well, we wait in Anam. Zakaria and Sumaya and them. You go to Baralatif. Baralatif, you want to try the next one? Okay. I get in a chat here. Okay, so they said the mic isn't working. All right. So that's okay. All right. So you go into Baralatif. All right, so another time. Okay, so. Normally I will call on the youth. As I normally say in class, those younger than me. I think I exhaust all those. Everybody else I think is older than me. So we will just, if there's no volunteers, then we'll just go on with the other um, examples here, a couple more, and then we go to the next exercise, inshallah, inshallah, right? So we have here, and we last one we did was uh, anti fakiratun, anti lasti the fakiratin. Again, what we have to observe here, one, is the how the word lysa is changing with respect to the subject, as well as, of course, the bar being introduced in the khabar 
and thus making it in a state of jar for the Kestra, okay? So we have here Antunna, Antunna Mujtahidatun, Antunna Mujtahidatun, you, feminine plural, are hardworking, you are, you all are hardworking. Antunna, Lastunna, be Mujtahidatun, be Mujtahidatun, you are, you all are not hardworking. Ana mudarrisun, ana mudarrisun, ana last two, bi mudarrisin, ana last two, bi mudarrisin. I am the teacher, I am not the teacher. Last one, nahnu tullabun, we are students, nahnu tullabun, nahnu lasna bi tullabin, nahnu lasna bi tullabin, right? Again, any quick questions there? Yeah, and the first person can get up. Any, any questions? Any other questions? All right, so the next exercise, again, we have here. So we have to put in Laisa in the following, in the following exercises, or the following sentences, sorry. Right, so we have al-babu vughlaqun, al-babu vughlaqun. So based on the examples we saw before, when we change in this, we would say al-babu laysa bi vughlaqin. Al-babu laysa bi vughlaqin. So we're going to go through it quickly, and inshallah you can follow the box. Any questions, you just stop me and let me know, right? Second one, Alma'u Baridun, Alma'u Baridun, Alma'u Laisa Bi Baridin. Now notice most of these, if not all of these, using just the word Laisa. Okay. Hishamun Maridun, Hishamun Laisa Bi Maridin. Again, Adiba, I make the, the word Maridun with a Maridin because of the Ba. All right. So Hishamun Laisa Bi Maridin. Abi. Naimun, Abi Naimun. My father is sleeping. Abi Laisa Bina Imin. Abi Laisa Bina Imin. Right? Adarusu Sabun, Adarusu Sabun, Adarusu Laisa Bisabin. Adarusu Laisa Bisabin. Al Masjidu. Qaribun, al-masjidu qaribun, al-masjidu laysa bi qaribin. Al-masjidu laysa bi qaribin. At-tiflu jaw'anun, at-tiflu jaw'anun, or jaw'anu, at-tiflu jaw'anu. You would say, at-tiflu laysa bi jaw'ana. Laysa bi jaw'ana. Why do we say bi jaw'ana? It's right there in the brackets. We give you the answer there. Why we, why do we say bijawana and not bijawani? Anybody? A hint, we did that the last or second to last lesson in the first book. Anybody? All the others. All the other examples we did, when we have the ba, which goes with laisa, added on to that word, the word is in the state of jav, and it took the kestra. In this case, we added on the ba that goes with the laisa, but it didn't take a kestra. Why didn't it take a kestra? That is jawan. It didn't take a kestra because it is what it is a word that we call mamnur minasar. Mamnur minasar, right? Which is which in English we say indeclinable. So that it wouldn't take 
the kasra. These there are certain categories of words of nouns that we did. Again, this is about the second to last lesson in the previous book, where we said these words, these categories of words, they don't take kasra. They don't take kasra because of various reasons and so on, right? And so therefore we call them indeclinable. So when they are in the state of jara, and this is in the state of jara, but in this is a special word so that it wouldn't take the kasra when it is in jar, take the fatha, right? And it would take the fatha as well in the case of nas, or the accusative case. So with the, in the case of rough, it takes the dhamma as normal, but in the case of jar and nas, that is accusative, um, genitive and accusative, it will take the fatha, all right? Good, let's go on here. Hamsa, number five, lesson five. So we have two examples and then we have to do the same thing again, introduce Laisa into the sentence. So we have a huwa tajirun, huwa tajirun, huwa laisa bi tajirin. Normal, same thing we were doing last couple pages. Huwa min al-yabani, huwa min al-yabani, huwa laisa min al-yabani. Huwa laisa min al-yabani. Notice here the difference here. One, we have Mubtada and Khabar. Here the Khabar is what we call Mufrad, is a single word, all right? Whereas in the second example, Hua Min Al Yabani, you have the Mubtada and then you have the Khabar is what we call Shibhi Jumla or a phrase. So the whole Khabar here is the Min, which is the Hatha Jar, and then the Majroor, which is the Al Yabani. So, in this case, when you introduce Elisa, you do not, you do not put the bar, okay? There is already a harful job here, so you don't add a further bar to it. So we just leave it as is, okay? So for example, let's look at the others. As-sayyaratu jamilatun. As-sayyaratu jamilatun. So if you were to introduce Elisa to that, similar to the first example, there's no uh, harf of jar there. It's just a simple nominal sentence, Mubtada and Khabar. The Khabar is just one word which we call Mufrad, or a singular word, all right? So it's applied just as the first one here. Just add Elisa and the Ba in this case. So we would say, As-sayyaratu laisat bi jamilatin. Laisat bi jamilatin. Why laisat? Because this sayyara, it is Feminine, singular, third person. Okay, so instead of laisa, we say laisa to make it feminine to match with the, the subject of the sentence there. All right? And of course, as I said, we add the bar there because it doesn't have the harful job. Right? The second one, ana ghaniyun. Ana ghaniyun. So we would say ana less to be ghaniyun. Ana less to be ghaniyun. Or you could just say less to be ghaniyun. Okay, next one. Anta faqirun. Anta faqirun. Right, you can say, lasta bi faqirin. Lasta bi faqirin. Or anta lasta bi faqirin. Similar to what we did in the previous page. Okay, so this is nothing new here, these first three. Let's look at number four. Hiya min al Iraq. Hiya min al Iraq. She is from Iraq. Right, so here now we have the Mubtara being the pronoun here, and we have the Khabar being the Shibhi Jumla, which is Minal Iraq. So, here Minal Iraq, she is from Iraq. So, in this case, we would say, here Laisat Minal Iraq. So, there's no ba, there's no ba added here in this case. Why? Because we have the Shibhi Jumla, we have the this powerful uh, job, right. We know again, Nafnu as Kiyau, Nafnu as Kiyau, we are intelligent, and then the Adilaisa to that, we will get, we will get, Lasna bi Adkiyaa, Lasna bi Adkiyaa, right? Lasna bi Adkiyaa. So the word Adkiyau, it is one of those words, again, as we said before, Mamnu'a min as 
ממנוע, מן הסלב שלי, אבל הוא לא תיק לי כסרה, ואני אדיבט את, או את רעדה, את הוא תיק את פתחה, את סדר בלי דמה, אוקיי? זאת אומרת, הוא עושה, אנחנו לסנא ביאדקייה אה, ביאדקייה אה. נקסט וואן הוא עזבון, הוא עזבון, הוא עזבון, הוא עזבון, we change that, we add the laysa we get, huwa laysa bi azabin, huwa laysa bi azabin. Next one. Al mudarrisuna fil fusuli, al mudarrisuna fil fusuli, so we get, we change that, we add any laysa we get, al mudarrisuna laysu, פי אל פוסולי, או פיל פוסולי, right? So, אל מודר ריסונה, לייסו פיל פוסולי. The teachers are not in the classroom. The classroom, okay? Any questions on that? So far? All right. Anybody want to try the other, the other ones in the sun? Exercise. We're on a new page. Anti the key atun. Anti the key atun. So introduce Lysa to that. What do we get? Simple. Anybody? No boss it. אנטי, לאי סט בי דה קי יתן, או אנטי, לאי סט, או לסטי, סורי, נוט לאי סט, לסטי, אייט? בגלל שאתה אומר סקנד פרסון, לא טרי פרסון. אז אנטי, לסטי, בי דה קי יתן. אייט, נקסט וואן נורא, פתאום. Welcome to Sa, number nine. Kibar. Lastum. Bikibarin. Lastum, Bikibarin. All right. Next one. Zainab, want to try the next one? Ashara. Atolibatun fil maktabati. At-Tolibatu Lasna Fil Maktabati. All right, good. So we have here is feminine plural third person, right? So we would use this form Lasna, Lasna Fil Maktabati. Again, there's no ba being introduced here. All right, tell me the last one. Antana Tolibatu Jududun. Antonna, lastonna, tolibatin, jududin. Be tolibatin, jududin. Right, good. So, good. So, the, the bar will go on to this one, and this is just the, the adjective describing it. All right, so good. Antonna, lastonna, be tolibatin, jududin. And of course, if this takes, if we would, Tolibatin takes a kastra, tanim kastra, because this is an adjective, it has to match it, number, case, and so on, so it would be tanim kastra as well, okay? All right, so we, right now we are at five past eight, four minutes past eight. Um, Uh, what I will do is I will just quickly describe how we go about these following exercises and I'll ask you all to try it at home over the course of the week, all right? So this, number six, the instruction is Ajib and Al-As'ila Tal-Atiya Inaf'i Musta'amilan Laysa. So we say, answer the following questions. Um, a negative using Lysa. 
So all these questions you're going to answer in the negative form using LISA. So for example, you're going to say, uh, the first question is, Amuhandisun Abuka, Amuhandisun Abuka. So as the, as the instruction says, answer all the questions in the negative. Right? So you will answer, La huwa laisa bi muhandisin. La huwa laisa bi muhandisin. Right? So inshallah, you could try, you could try the other examples here. Another one is, Amudarrisatun ummuka. Amudarrisatun ummuka. So if we answer the negative, we would say, La Right? So we attempt the others, inshallah. Asim, for these questions one and two, just, just, just go back, right. Instead of using who and so on, you couldn't start the answer with saying Abi and Ummi. Yeah, yeah. My father yeah. and my mother. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. The main thing oh. is we're going to get practice in using Lysa. So if you start with a B, you have to use the B. Like you say, a B, Lysa, B, Muhandis. Yeah, we'll use the B in any case, right? Oh, the B is it. Yeah, so if you use Hua or a B, you still use the Ba, right? When you don't use the Ba, is if you have the, the um, powerful jar already, like fill fossil. Yeah, and men and so. Men, yeah. So, but if but, you um, if you're starting the answer with a B, do you yeah. still need to use la, or you could leave out la? Um, you could, you could, you could leave it out. You could leave it out. Yeah. So you can see, for example, a muhandisun abuka, abi abi laisa bi muhandisin. No problem. That that could work as well. Yeah. All right, so the, the, the next exercise is basically an oral exercise, which inshallah, you could try that next, next week. You wajjih al mudarris ila kulli minat tulab as ila tan bi kauni yakunu jawabuha inafi. So basically, saying here, the teacher faces each student and asks them. And you have to reply in the negative. All right, you have to reply in the negative using Lysa or like last two. All right, so it's basically an oral exercise here. We'll skip that for homework. And let's go to the next one. Ikral mithal thumma adhil inna ala thumma atiya. Right, so this is just going back to using inna from before. So inshallah, well, I will go through this one with you all next week. So really, the only one that you all have to do as homework is this one, very simple, straightforward, might take five minutes to do. Number six, or so come sitta here. All right. Uh, quickly before we end, let's look at the new words here. Al-Kalimat al-Jadidatu. Al-Kalimat al-Jadidatu. All right. Liqa'un. Liqa'un. Again, those of us who would have known a little while back, sisters Lika, brothers Lika, and so on. All right, so Lika one basically means a meeting, a meeting. Right? Jai Yedun, Jai I don't know if you came across this one in the exercise. Right? Jai Yedun means good, right? Jai Yedun. Jai Bun, is like a pocket, Juyubun. Right? I don't know how to say this is new and new with the ones you have any Right? Nahurun. Nahurun. And we can tell what Nahurun means. So the plural, you might know if more familiar with the plural. River. Right? So Nahurun. Right? And of course, occurred many, many times in the Quran when you read in the Quran. Tahti hal and hal. And hal is rivers. So flowing beneath it. Beneath them, meaning the gardens, are rivers. So the word anhar means rivers, and the plural and the singular is nahrun. Nahrun. Right. Barakiyatun. 
برقية Barqiyatun is a telegram. I don't know how they have these words. Barqiyatun is a telegram. Telegram, which I guess can be outdated these days, right? Um, Masrifun, Masrifun is a bank. So a telegram here and Masrifun is a bank, right? Masrifun. Masarifun, Masarifu, Masrifun, Masarifu, Barqiyatun, Barqiyatun, right? And then you have Maktabul Barid, Maktabul Barid is basically a post office, post office, right? So these are some new words, inshallah ta'ala. So we will close here, any questions or comments, suggestions or otherwise, I don't know the Imam Salon. Yeah, the imam still on. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu I just wanted to get a feedback since we have a better um, attendance from the students. I uh, just want to get a feedback from everyone before we leave, if everybody comfortable. I'll defy the sessions if they're picking up.